Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am glad that you dropped by to see what I picked up today. I have a Hobby Lobby haul. I went there and there was so much stuff on sale, but I tried to be very strategic in what I picked up. I didn't want to pick up a lot of stuff and I wanted to get the things that I thought I would need and that I would be using. So that's my new thing. Don't buy too much. Just get what you think you would need and use. So as we all know, the Tim Holtz um, items are on sale. And there were a few of them that I did need and wanted. So they had the alcohol inks on sale. And these ones are the snow cap, the pitch black, and the slate. I don't have either one. of. I don't have these. And it used to be $10.99, $5.49. So I thought that was a good buy. And I'm going to get out my UPO paper as soon as I finish this and figure out what I can play around and what kind of background I can make with that. Because I didn't have those colors. And then they had the Distress Oxides on sale. And there were a few that I didn't have. And I was, you know, they were on my list. Like, I never did get Kit's Flamingo. And I was like, okay, I need Kit's Flamingo. And it's $2.99. I'm going to get that one. And I never had Victorian Velvet. And I'm thinking the Kit's and the Velvet together in a little background. Go play with those. So that would be nice. And then there's Saltwater Taffy, which is a kind of oranges. I want to check that out. I don't have that in my stash. So these are ones that I don't have in my stash. So I don't have Ground Espresso in my stash. And the only one that I'm not too sure of is I think I have Forest Moss. But I got that again because I didn't remember the name. So I picked just those up. I mean, they had them all on sale. If you go to my channel and look at my, I did a short on what I saw there. So I did that. They did have another one, this Distress um, container that holds um, the oxides. And so it was $5.49 also, and I thought I needed a new one, but another one to put the rest of the ones in. So I picked that up. Um, looking at tens, there was this metal recipe box. I like the way it looked. And I'm thinking since I make a lot of A2 cards and I'm in the process of making a lot of birthday cards to send off to an um, agency, that I could keep them in this box. Beautiful box. Look at it. And it was only a dollar and seventy-four cents. So if you go there, dollar seventy-four, these were on sale. It has the, the top kind of hangs there like that. It came with some recipe cards in it, but I think I'm gonna use the recipe cards to alter and kind of you know build up for something else i'm making some journals so who knows what i might what i might um have with that so i got that and let's see i picked up a couple of the other items there from tim holtz and you never have enough Distress watercolor cardstock because I'm playing with my watercolors and you'd never have enough cardstock. And it's 549 for 274. I was hoping they had two, but they only had one left. And there are 20 sheets in here. Um, I picked up the um, transparencies. I can always use these in my journal, and if they're two dollars, I can get those. Um, I picked up these um, salvage tags. I can, I'm can. i going to read, when I make my journals, I can decorate them and use them in my journal. So these kind of things, the ephemera things, always come in handy. So I always pick those up. I didn't want to pick up these snapshots, but they were there. And I thought, okay, let's see what you can do with them. And I know I picked up the people before and the found relatives years ago, but I thought I'd try the snapshots and see if I can build an old journal with those in it. Something, something um, old. So watch out for that. I got these photo frames and I think the photo frames fit the snapshots, I think. So you get four pieces in here. So I'm gonna play around with that. And oh, 
Oh, it fits photo booth and photomatic, so it doesn't really fit those. But I'll play around with them and figure out what to do with them. I got these corners, and I can always use those in the journal. And then the last thing I picked up, before I used to do it when I was working, I did a lot of, of, of planning where I decorated my planner. I still use my planner a lot, but I don't, um, I'm not working now, so I don't um, use it the way I used to. I just use it doctor's appointments and things like that. And now it seems like my job is doctor's appointments. But I thought for 224, I've always liked this book. So I, so I thought I'd pick it up, and I'm sure we've all seen it. So quick flip through, I think you get two of each page. But I thought I'd just pick it up and just kind of just see if I can use it in other places, doing other things. It had really nice things in it. So maybe in a journal or something like that, I'll be able to play with it. Look at that. You'll be able to put those down on a journal page or something like that. You can always use these things somewhere. So I picked it up. So $8.99 to $2.24, that's perfect. So, that's my little Hobby Lobby um, haul. And I don't do many hauls anymore because I'm trying to shop my stash and use what I have. So, check back and check my um, video list and you'll see some of the things where I'm shopping my own stash and making things. Right now, I have a whole bunch of Eileen Hall dies and I'm playing with those that I bought a while back and I'm just beginning to use some of them. So, watch for those videos. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see some of the other Tim Holtz stuff that was on sale, check my short. I just put up a short this week that showed you what was on sale. Thanks for being here today. If you can give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, press that subscribe button. I'd love, love, love to have you here as part of my um, crafty journey. So I'll see you all in my next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye now.